everyone, it's Katie from Southern Life. Today we're going to check out the town of New Smyrna Beach. It's a city with 27,000 people and it is known for its beaches. It also has a lighthouse and awesome city shops and restaurants. It is just south of Daytona. You're close to Cape Canaveral, so on the beach you can see things fly into space. Also, it is a surfing hub. And you can also drive on the beach, which is awesome because you don't have to carry things around. Let's listen to some music for a little bit and then we'll get back to our conversation. It's in Volusia County and it was settled in 1768. It has been recognized as one of the best surf towns by National Geographic and I can really see why as you can drive right up to the beach. In 1887, New Smyrna was incorporated as a city and it had a population of 150 people. In the 1920s during Prohibition, this was a popular hub for running moonshine and rum. And today there's probably a bunch of potheads behind a gas station or something, I don't know. Unfortunately, it's known as the shark attack capital of the world. Invite that uncle you don't like. So definitely have a family event. Or swim in six inches of water, which is great for your kids. I mean, you come to the Florida for vacation, what do you think is going to happen? If you have a problem with that, you can go to Alaska and get eaten by a grizzly bear. That probably won't get you the Florida man story you're looking for. Early settlers were told to grow hemp, sugarcane, and indigo. Really, that's that explains some tendencies in the town. Seems like the place your piehead grandma would move to. With her furry dog and convertible beetle. If you don't know what that means, it is a comfortable convertible. There's a bunch of girls running around in bikinis, so make sure you get a dog leash and a dog collar for your husband and a bandana for his eyes. You've worked too hard to tie that fool down to lose him that easily. It's been under four flags. The British, the Spanish, the Confederate, and the American. Today, the only flags you're going to see are the ones that the lifeguards have out that tell you what the water condition is. With as hot as it is in Florida, the British were still wearing those feathery, whatever, fur coat looking things. And I wonder why they lost Florida. In 1892, Henry Flagler brought the Florida East Coast Railway to bring a bunch of New Yorkers here and they still haven't stopped coming. New Smyrna's motto is a swan among ducks, which makes a lot of sense because it's between Daytona and Titusville. It's pretty messed up that they would diss the cities around them. Put it on a brass plaque and call it their town motto. Yeah, you're a bunch of ducks and we're a dang swan. In the case of Titusville, a crippled duck that has been beaten savagely by its own residents and then sold for a food stamp card of $20. And I'm not talking about these new electronic cards. I'm talking about the ones that are made from paper. In picking out their town model, they had to make sure that they have nothing to do with the towns around them. The per capita income for the city is 31000 which is two times the amount someone in Titusville will make in their whole lives. Let's go for another musical break, and I'm going to have some water, and I'll be back coherently. Thank you. 
I ran the microphone on. Right next to Daytona, where a bunch of drunk idiots go drunk and just don't touch me. I'll press charges on. Don't touch me, Jose. I think just called the next Saturday Daytona Beach. It's de definitely the next Saturday. I mean, you could drive to Daytona on beach. At this restaurant, the girl checked out Jose, so I gave her the duster. He was looking at her too, so I gave him the duster and told him I was gonna hurt him. Go away, Jose! Along the beach were seagulls and dolphins and crap, and I guess some sharks too. Maybe it ate someone. I was gonna get out and play in the sand, but these are brand new sandals. I can't mess these up for nothing. I told Jose to catch a crab in my honor. He refused to. And told me it was going to pinch him. I told him if he was a real man, he'd do it. He didn't do it. I got tired of riding the truck, so I told him that we needed to ride a donkey. He said, where the crap am I going to find a donkey on the beach, women? Has anybody heard of Beetle the Bardcore? I like it. It's like I can hear in the club in medieval music. I think medieval music is going to make a comeback. Here's something from Jose's symphony. I think it's called Mexican Tune or something like that. Sounds like something the people across the street would listen to if they had people over. This is a place that you need to bring your family here for a picnic and really just enjoy the beach since you don't have to carry your stuff long distances. So it makes a great picnic place. Bring your family out here. There's also great restaurants for at the end of the day. What sets this town apart from others is it has great massive oak trees, so many tree-lined streets. You have historic homes, historic businesses, this town has historic homes, big oak trees, and the town has been around a long time, which a lot of towns in Florida are newer, so you're not going to have this. This town has the beach charm and the old Florida charm, so it's a great combination. They named the town at the Byron Schmurda. That's so Tracy. If Henry Flagler saw what this town has done, I wanted to catch one of the seagulls. I ran for miles along the beach, but I couldn't catch it. All right, I'm exaggerating. It had to be a few hundred feet at most. And then I saw a truck sell tacos, and then give me a uh, five tacos, three chalupas, and four gorditas, and. Four Five beers, six quesadillas, seven quesadillas, eight ice creams, and two drinks. He said, ma'am, I'm a lifeguard on my lunch break. If you keep bothering the birds, I'm going to have to call the law. Well, that's rude. If you don't want to make me a taco, then don't stand at your taco stand. He was confused, and he might have been drunk. 
That's trashy. I wouldn't do that. Some fancy realtor ladies probably made some videos on this town. Oh, bless her heart. I'm going to give you the real scope on the city here. Since I went there once and spent most of the time on my phone, so I could probably give you a better description of this town than they can. Well, Jose's going to be really proud of making my own video here on this channel. He said it was going to be some incoherent rant that no one was going to understand. But here we are, a great video made by me. He didn't label the video, so I'm hoping it's new just wearing a beach. I was on my phone most of the time over there, but yeah, that looks like where I was. Well, if you'd like to have more of my thoughts on this channel, well, let us know in the comments section. I ran the microphone on. 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 I ran the microphone on.